Hello! Okay, today we're going to, be going to be taking a look at this Blue Yeti microphone. Now this has got a broken USB port. So we're going to be attempting to replace it. Well, yeah, I'll attempt to replace it. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I bought a bag of 10 USB mini USB ports the, these were pence really they really were uh, it was cheaper to buy 10 than it was one in some places so uh, yeah I'll have them for uh, something else in the future maybe so anyway we're going to try and replace the USB port with one of these so let's uh, start taking this apart and if I remember rightly, first we'll have to pull off all the buttons. That needs pulling out of there. These are pulling off okay. I've seen, I've noticed that uh, some of these uh, are quite hard to get off. That's dropped inside, but it's okay. Um, so we've got two screws here, let's remove them first. And we have another screw under this rubber stopper which we have to remove. Just get a screwdriver behind it, it should, yeah, should pop out. Uh, and we have another screw under there. And once that screw is out, it should pull apart. There's that uh, little button press, don't lose that one. So yeah, it comes apart easy enough really. Uh, so these are the broken USB port I mean ideally ideally I could do with the uh, hot air on it but as I haven't got a hot air station I'm gonna have to have a go at just heating it up and uh, well pulling it out I'm not too bothered about destroying anything on the, the actual port so should be careful with the board uh, and then the Got to clean up them holes after. So let's uh, let's have a go at trying to get it out first. Okay, so uh, let's firstly try warming this up and uh, see if we can well pull it out really. get it to come out I can clean up the, well, that came out okay I think we've left some pins behind but it is uh, it's well broken that was not a lot left of it but uh, yeah this is going to be the awkward bit now it's getting getting these holes clean I think I'll uh, drop a bit of fresh solder onto it and see if we can uh, see if we can work anything out of it with the solder wick. Hmm. Let's get a bit of solder wick. And see what it. Uh, what it can pick up. Oh, let's clean that first though. Yeah, the big holes seem to be cleaning up quite well. Yeah, the, uh, the mounting holes have cleaned up fine actually there. 
let's have a look at these uh, data ones clean up but well, I've got wire left in these so I'm going to have to uh, hmm, somehow get a hold of the wire or poke it through with something let's have a look on the other side see what's going on let's see if I can pull these out warm up the back side of it there's one out there's the other one out it's two legs Hold the wick on that, see if we can uh, get a bit of that to uh, hold solder up. I'm wondering if we can put the new one on and heat it from this side, just melt the solder, it'll push through. Could try that, I suppose. Can uh, hold that there while I warm this side up. It may just push through. I think that's in. Seems to be sitting flush. Just give it uh, a little bit more than this side. I think they're in though. Yeah. That seems to be in. I think we can solder that up. Uh, yeah. Solder the mounting pins first. So we can go on to the data ones after. Okay, let's get some uh, solder on these mounting bins. data pins mm, yeah it's looking good a bit more on these mounting pins because they take a lot of force Unplugging and plugging the USB cable in all the time. And once they give, well, all the strains on these pins then. So, yeah, let's clean that up again. And hopefully. It's fixed it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see. Get it plugged in and uh, see if it recognises it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's in good and proper. I can see where the solders come straight through this side of the board onto the mounting pins. So it's, it's uh, good and solid, that is. Let's see if it works. Okay, so let's see if it uh, 
Power's up. <laughs> oh, we've got a light. And yeah, there it is recognised on the PC. So yeah, job done. Um, wasn't too bad really. A bit fiddly with those little holes. But yeah, let's get this put back together and uh, it'll be up and working again. Hope you enjoyed the video and until next time, thanks for watching.